you talked about losing out on the IT revolution because it, the land was not affordable, rentals were not affordable. Let me ask you this in the context of what we're seeing happen as far as other states are concerned. Your colleagues in the state of Andhra Pradesh are virtually giving away land for free. Uh, 99 paise, uh, you know, is what the deal has been done with TCS. Uh, are you worried about things like that? Do you see those things as an opportunity? No, I, I'm not worried because Andhra Pradesh can have anything, but they cannot have Mumbai and Pune. See, ultimately you need to have Mumbai. Mumbai is Mumbai. You cannot compete with Mumbai. You can't compete with Mumbai. But, you know, in order for all of this to be a reality, I, I think sustainability is also going to have to be key to the aspirations of growing the city, whether it's into three or four new cities as well. So uh, from that perspective, Mr. Padnavis, uh, what will the state government be prioritizing to ensure that growth is sustainable? Yeah, I think uh, that's absolutely right because, uh, you know, uh, when we grow, the biggest concern is energy because, uh, uh, you know, one of the indicators of uh, growth is how much energy do you consume and uh, today uh, we are somewhere around uh, I mean the installed capacity in Maharashtra is somewhere around uh, 46 gigawatt and by 2030 it will be around 82 gigawatt so almost double uh, we, we have already started working on that but uh, I must tell you that in this capacity addition the addition will be mostly the green energy uh, see today our entire energy mix in Maharashtra is just 21% renewable and rest all is, uh, you know, from fossils. But by 2030, our 52% energy will come from renewables. So there's a huge push on renewable. Uh, by uh, next year, uh, uh, by the end of 2026, by December 2026, our entire uh, agriculture demand, which is uh, around 16 gigawatt, will come from uh, solar. We have already started, you know, it is India's biggest distributed solar scheme, which we have started, Mukhya Mantri Saur Krushi Vaini, uh, where around 3,000 feeders are being solarized and uh, already we have uh, finished uh, around uh, 4,000 megawatt and uh, by end of 2026, it will be 16,000 megawatt. So we, have we are giving huge push to, uh, you know, uh, solar, uh, to wind, to also, uh, you know, uh, uh, PSP, because because of the Western Ghat, we have a, a you know huge uh, uh, opportunity into pump storage. So we are we are doing pump storage. We are doing now. Um, uh, we are working around green hydrogen. So I think uh, uh, on sustainability, especially uh, when you look at uh, uh, power, we are doing uh, uh, a good work and. Along with that, you know, the second biggest polluter is public uh, transport. Mm -hmm. So now we are actually transforming entire our public transport uh, into green. We are using CNG, we are using uh, uh, EV. Uh, I mean, uh, the biggest uh, order of EV uh, to all the EV manufacturers has gone from the state of Maharashtra. Uh, actually, right now we require, we have a huge requirement, but uh, uh, you know, the uh, the manufacturers are not able to provide uh, our requirement. So we are actually totally transiting our entire public transport. And again, uh, you know, because of the uh, EV revolution which is happening in our country, I think that uh, uh, by 2030, uh, even the private cars and the uh, uh, two-wheelers will be mostly EV because now a lot of push is being given to EV and the costs are also coming down. So I think uh, on sustainability, uh, it, is, it is our focal area and we are doing it.